you want to make some melodies? It don't have to be no melody. Okay, bye. My Uncle Unique made this one. <laughs> Yo, what's good? It's your boy Unique here today. And today, I actually got to make some melodies for a collab I'm doing. So, I decided to take this time to mess around with Studio One a little bit more. And for y'all who know, I'm doing a debate between Studio One and Logic. If you haven't seen any of those videos, you can get called up. I have a link to the playlist up in the corner somewhere. And you can check that out real quick. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. But today, I want to mess around with Studio One. I've been messing around with it for a couple of days. But today is the first day I'm recording recording myself messing around with it don't be too hard on me i don't know what i'm doing in studio one yet and if you got any tips for me please leave them down below in the comment section i really appreciate it and if you like this video hit that like and that subscribe button again i appreciate it i read all my comments i appreciate y'all helping me grow this channel and let's go ahead and jump in it real quick all right i'm here at studio one again i'm still learning it i'm still, I'm still figuring, figuring it out uh but it is certain things i do like about it the drag and drop nature of it is a lot better and a lot faster and it also don't help that i got my new toys if y'all haven't seen that video i will also leave a link to that up there in the corner too okay i like that i like that <laughs> this but what happened if i speed it up just a little bit let's see right now we at like 95 let's speed it up to uh, let's slow it down a little bit more 105 so right now i'm just gonna pick a quick drum loop just to go into this you know what be good for these strings right now? A plug-in from some medics called Origin. I did a video on this plug-in. I'm gonna leave a Leave a card up there in the corner, and y'all can go check that out. I'm also going to leave a link to it in the description if I remember. And yeah, y'all can go check that out. But I think I want to actually move these down an octave. Or another trick I like to use in Logic, I'm about to try it in Studio One and see how this works. So I normally bounce it in place. I always get scared in Studio One. I never know if I'm doing it right or not. So I'm going to take this and... I'm going to hit shift this down. Do Studio One got a pitch shifter? Shifter? I never know. Let's actually pull it up over here. Pitch shifter, pitch shifter. Pitch shifter, pitch shifter. Oh, oh. pitch shifter. I don't see a pitch shifter. Studio One not have a pitch shifter. I just want to shift it down the octave. I just want to pitch shift down the octave. Am I overlooking it? If I'm overlooking it, please leave a comment down below. Tell me where it's at. I don't know. Again, I'm still learning this, so please help a brother out. And don't laugh at me too much. Okay, it's okay. So we're just going to move on. Turn the strings down. Now we just gotta figure out how, what we're gonna do with this piano. You know, I like how this sound, but I also want to give it some stereo width. Now I don't know how this gonna sound, but I wanna select all, make duplicates of it, shift it down. And then this is pretty much done. 
done to be ready to send out. I'm not gonna do any, a lot of mixing to it and everything. I'm gonna send it to the person I'm collabing with and let them do most of the work and see what they are gonna do. If they are gonna flip the sample anyway, they wanna flip it. I like to have it there, the basic idea of it, but if they want to flip it anyway they want to, I send them the stem to let them have free range of it. So I'm gonna send it over to, again, the person I'm collabing with and see what they gotta add to it. And when they send it back to me, I'm gonna see what they added to it and I'm gonna go from there. If they send it to me in a time enough fashion, I go ahead and add the beat to, to the end of this video. If not, then, hey, that's it. But yes, this is, again, this is like my third, fourth time actually like really messing around with studio one so far i have to say that i like it i'm still learning a lot of things about it but with y'all help i'm sure i can get the hang of it the workflow on here is amazing as you see i just pumped out a quick melody for it real quick i can do this i can do it at the same speed and logic but that's only because i got that experience with logic i should have the next part of logic versus studio one out shortly so keep an eye out for that and i appreciate y'all joining me on this and i hope the melodies was hitting for y'all i hope y'all able to get leave me some tips down below and if you like this hit that subscribe button and that like button leave me any type of feedback and i'll check y'all out later deuces